Hey, 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 you guys. I am back with another video. And today's topic is all about taking your power back. Listen, if you are new here and your first time hearing me, I am Latursa and I talk a lot about on this channel, self-care hygiene, um, motivation, and a little bit of entrepreneurship. So if those topics are something that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications, and give me a thumbs up if I say something that resonates with you. So let's jump right into today's topic. So we're talking about taking your power back. And the reason why I wanted to do these pep talks with Latursa on Monday is because I want to give you something to start your week off on a great note. So many times we give our power away by allowing other people to dictate how we feel, what decisions we need to make. We give them all the power of, you know, determining how we see ourselves, how we view things in life. We give it away by allowing other people to dictate our every move. So I'm going to help you a little bit in this video of how you can begin to take your power back, whether that's after a bad breakup, whether that's um, just you having some insecurities within yourself, or it could be anything, you know, business related. Sometimes you give your power away by not standing up and speaking up for what you truly want to do in your business. Instead, you let other people make the decision for you. That is how you give your power away. But today, I want to share with you three simple tips on how you can begin to maneuver throughout this week, take your power back so that you can have the peace, the joy that all that surpasses all understanding, you guys. So if you've been wanting peace in your life, if you've been wanting joy, finding a way to get your happiness back, the first way to do that is by taking control over your life, taking your power back. And so, like I said, leave me a comment below and let me know if you're struggling with this, because I know for many of us, we give our power away without even knowing it. So the, the best way to get your power back is to give yourself permission to be human. We are all going to make mistakes. We are all here learning. We're on our own path, our own journey. And you got to learn how to be okay with not knowing everything. Be okay with asking for help. That doesn't make you look dumb. That doesn't make you look stupid or anything. But be okay with allowing yourself to be human because we're all human. We all are flawed beings. We all have something that we can work on. So when you give yourself permission to be human, you are pretty much telling yourself that, you know what, I'm going to fall along the way, but as long as I can get back up, you know, if I can learn the valuable lessons from whatever the situation is, then I know that I'm going to be a okay. So that's number one, allowing yourself to be human. The second tip on how you could begin to take your power back is give yourself permission to be great. Give yourself permission to be the best version of yourself. Meaning, don't ever stop learning something new. Don't ever stop. Um, um, don't ever stop pushing yourself to be the best version of yourself. If it's some areas you need to work on, if it's some areas you need help with, don't be so bold and. I'm not going to say cocky, but don't ha don't let your ego get in the way of you getting help. Because if you need help and you don't ask for it, that's almost like, you know, my mother used to always tell me a closed mouth never gets fed. So don't allow your ego to trip you up into thinking that you don't need to ask for help. If you need help, ask for help. You you never know who God will place inside of your path along the way to give you the help or the tools or whatever that you need to move to the next phase in your life. So that's number two. And then number three is don't wait for other people to give you closure. You might not ever get that closure. And I'm talking to us women, especially you might not ever get the closure that you need. Your closure to yourself be would be to forgive that person and give them over to God and let God handle them. Because you sitting there trying to wait on this person to admit that they was wrong, admit that they hurt you, admit that they did this, you might not ever get that. And a lot of times the people that hurt you, they not going to come back and say they were wrong, you know, unless a guy's been really dealing with them. So your closure that you need to give yourself is to forgive yourself 
for whatever part you played in the situation, forgive the next person who hurt you and release them over to God. And I'll tell you to even take it a step further is when you release that person to God, pray over that person that they have success, that they have love, that they have the life that God has for them. Because here's, hear me when I say you sitting around being bitter, being angry about who left and who did you this way and who was wrong and all that. That stuff is killing your joy. It's taking away time from the present. You can't enjoy your present because you're so stuck and hung up on who hurt you back then. Let that stuff go. I'm telling you, some of you guys are walking around here sick and you're probably sick because you're so stressed out. You worrying. You got unforgiveness in your heart. And I'm telling you, that stress, y'all, that's how I ended up in the hospital a few months back and had a stroke. Y'all need to listen to your big sis. Stress will kill you. That's why I'm so grateful I'm still here in the land of the living. Do y'all hear me? Y'all let that stuff go. You be the one to forgive and move on. Don't wait for somebody else to give you closure. You might not ever get it. You forgive that person and, and so you can move on. That's your closure that you're going to get. Give yourself permission to forgive yourself. Yes, you messed up. Yes, you made some crazy decisions. Yes, we all have been there. And as long as you're still living on this earth, you're going to make some more mistakes. But that's where grace comes in. Give yourself the same grace you give to your children. Give yourself the same grace you give to everybody else. Allow yourself to be human because you are going to make some mistakes. You are going to be flawed. You are flawed. Nobody is perfect on this earth but God. So don't put that much, don't put yourself on such a big high pedestal that you can't even live up to it. That's what happened to me. I, I, I felt so bad for so long because here I was raised up in a Christian home. I was a Christian girl, you know, and then I just allowed myself to worry myself into so much mess, created all kind of chaos for my life. But I had to eventually forgive myself and move on with my life. You can't get to what God has for you if you keep holding on to what you did yesterday. You can't go back and, and wave a magic wand. I say it all the time, y'all. You cannot go back, wave a magic wand and say, let me redo this. It's no redo overs. You don't get a redo over. The only thing you can do now is be the best version of yourself today and make better decisions and choices that you made on your yesterdays. That's all you can do. When you learn from your mistakes, you can make better decisions today because of what happened yesterday. You see what I'm saying? And then my last and final tip is validate yourself. Get, I mean, get in the mirror, you guys, and tell yourself every morning you wake up, this is something I do every morning. Y'all probably going to laugh, but after I've sat in the bed for about 10, 20 minutes, when I first wake up, say my prayers, say what I'm grateful for, say, tell myself what type of day I'm going to have. I get right in that mirror, sticky breath and all and say, Hey, beautiful. Some days I say, Hey, sunshine. Cause y'all know that's my phrase, but I like to look myself in my eyes and tell myself that I'm beautiful. I'm not waiting on nobody else to do that. I'm not waiting on somebody else to pat me on my back. Tell me I did a great job. I start celebrating the little accomplishments that I do every week whether that's job related, whether that's in my business, whether that's with my YouTube channel, I celebrate myself because if you sitting around waiting on somebody else to acknowledge you, to tell you, you did an amazing job, to tell you, you, you're a wonderful person and you so amazing. Guess what? It may not ever happen. When you leave your house in the morning, tell yourself you're beautiful. So if you don't get a compliment all day, you don't have to go around feeling bad because nobody acknowledged your cute outfit or tell yourself, you look at yourself in the mirror, I hope, before you leave out your house. And if you look good to you and you know you put your best foot forward and you know you smell amazing and you know you look good and you feel good, you validating yourself so that if you don't get a compliment, you won't be feeling bad. You won't be saying, well, nobody acknowledged me today. Nobody made me feel good today. That's nobody's re responsibility to make you feel good, to make you um, uh, validate you that you are an amazing person. You need to know that before you walk out your house, 
basically you need to start affirming yourself and how you do that use affirmations if you're in a certain situation right now use affirmations to get yourself up out of that situation it takes 21 days you guys to recreate a new habit to form a new habit so if you are in a funk right now I'm going to leave some resources below. I have affirmation cards. I have a self-love journal. All of it is very affordable. It's going to be in the links below because listen, it's time out for the okie doke, y'all. It's time out for you giving all your power away and feeling bad about the person you are. And I know for me, it took me a long time, you guys, to just really understand the mistakes I made had was all a part of my journey. I had to go through the worst of the worst to get here today so that I can help you. I had to um, embarrass myself and I had to call shame up on myself and I had to, you know, visit a couple of psych wards to get my mind right. I had to go through all of that so I can help you today. Had I not gone through that, the good, the bad, the ugly or whatever, I would not be able to hear, share with you tips and tricks to help you overcome, whatever that may be. So stop waiting on somebody else to validate you. If you don't like you, it's going to be very hard to get somebody else to like you. Because remember, you teach the world how to treat you. You teach the world how, how you know, what kind of person you are. Even though people are always going to have their own assumptions and opinions about you, you need to be having an opinion about your own self. You need to be having an assumption about who you feel you are, who you believe that you are, what you stand for. Because listen, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. So that's my little pep talk for you guys today. Happy Monday. I hope you guys have an amazing week. God bless. And remember, you are absolutely enough in everything you need. It's already on the inside of you. So God bless and I'll see you on the next video.